Hi there YouTube, it is I, the one, the only, Nadia Exotica. So, um, isn't this so fucking cute? It's my AirPods Pro case. Um, before I had this like lime green one and I didn't really, like, I only ever had one case and that was it. It's like this lime green one, it went really well with my last phone case. And I'm like, I just want to switch it up. This one's super cute. It's got cute little stars on it. The star has a smiley face. Um, but anyways, this video, I wanted to kind of highlight how um, adult work has changed for me and also how like maturing in the sex working world in particular. Um, I am now a PSO. I've been a PSO for almost two years phone sex operator I guess like a year and a half comfortably I would, I would say and uh, started out full-time webcamming and then part-time escorting for the dumbasses who come on my channel and talk hella shit I'm not an escort anymore not that there's anything wrong with escorting I just don't participate um, yeah and I just kind of want to talk about certain things like how how I matured through my sex working journey um, in the first year since I was doing camming and escorting I was also following a lot of like escorts on Instagram in particular and the flex culture is like such a thing amongst sex workers because I feel like in a way there's something to prove right to other people and there's some something to prove and it says something about your value right I, I'm not saying it does I'm just saying like in general those are probably the thoughts going through people's heads when it comes to flex culture it kind of seeps into the adult working world because it's like hey look I'm a, I have value because of all these expensive things I have and I'm not gonna lie I got sucked in I think just like I, a few times but the biggest purchase that I've ever had um, was because like I'd seen a lot of these girls toting around their Chanel or their Gucci or their fucking um, Louis Vuitton and I felt like okay well obviously I need I need that too like I really need something some sort of designer handbag and um, I remember it actually, so there's a video on my YouTube of me hauling it. It was a birthday present. It was the LVMM Neverfull in Damier Rose. I don't really know that I'm saying that correctly, but I'm pretty sure I am. Um, and I'm not going to lie, like, I didn't feel really guilty about it at first, but until I was, like, in a rut and stuck in a rut and, like, had some shit going on, then I was like, why am I toting around this fucking bag, this really expensive bag, and, you know, I'm, I'm like, in a pickle. Um, but that was mainly, like, it's, I'm not gonna lie, I, originally I didn't want that bag. I wanted the Gucci Super Mini Marmont, um, like, the classic little crossbody crossbody purse um which was way less in value actually it was way cheaper but this like I guess like pressure I was putting on myself and I guess just what I was seeing and just 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 the mind frame that I was in I really really wanted to kind of like one up what I wanted originally and that was like I was so happy when I was sold it though too because like I was finally not in a pickle and it helped me out a lot so and I mean handbags can definitely be an investment you just have to really check in with yourself and know why you're getting certain things are you getting them for the right reasons because um you really never know with what you're seeing on Instagram Twitter YouTube everything like on the internet you never know like people could be going out there renting these designer items just just for the fuck of it they could have been gifted for who knows what you just never know um or maybe they just come from a very wealthy background um but it's important that you don't let it suck you in and beguile you because what's the point like it, it's literally pointless which brings me on to my next topic um the real flex of it all is stability and comfortability um, more than anything building a nest egg which I feel like I have talked about um, numerous amounts of times on my YouTube that's the biggest flex of it all 
And I think the other thing is too is like not only are you proving it to yourself, but like other people around you, your close loved ones finally start to see like, oh, you know, like there is, there is income in this, you know, you can have a livelihood, especially people you care about. I mean, I'm, I'm always one to say like, fuck what people think of you. But when it comes down to it, when, you know, people you love see you flourish and see you, you know, build a savings and do well for yourself, they kind of start to see like, oh, you know, there's something to this. Um, which is wonderful as well. Like, it's just so, so much more important to be able to, um, make sure that you're, you're stable, like stability through anything and everything. Like that's the number one thing. Um, screw the other shit, screw the aesthetics, screw all the materialistic bullshit. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can fund your life and you can pay your way, right? Like you, you, your bills are all paid, you know, your livelihood is good. Um, those are like the two big important things. And then I feel like something that kind of is like collateral or not collateral more so it just kind of follows along. Like it kind of seeps in towards like, you know, at least two years in, I'd say three years, you get to enforce a no bullshit policy, which is essentially not accepting any, just any work. It's not accepting just any work and money just because you're hurting, right? Like having that nest egg and building for yourself enables you to say no to people who are scummy, who make you feel like okay, like a little weary, like they're not really serious or that they're trying to gain something from you. Maybe, you know, one up you in a way, um, short change you, you really never know, right? Like you just don't know what turns the adult industry are, are going to take. You just don't know. You don't know the type of people that are going to come to you. Um, which obviously goes into like scamming and shit, but, um, saying no to work that you don't need to do, right? Um, being able to say no and not be desperate for work is seriously such a blessing. Um, but in the beginning, I would be lying if I said um, that I didn't have to scrounge at times, right? Like, that's the whole point of it is survival. The real flex of it all is surviving and, you know, making a comfortable, stable income first and foremost screw all the other shit the flex culture of it all like screw that um it's very prominent and you again like you just p things can fool you on the internet you just never know where someone has gotten a full season of wh whatever you know who knows so it's important that you don't let it kind of hypnotize you and if you are making any of these purchases to just do it because you want to and you're doing it for make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and that it doesn't put you in a financial hole right you don't want it to be detrimental you want to grow and flourish um maturing within adult work has been very interesting and I can't even count the times on my hands how many times I wanted to quit or I was were, I was like on the brink of quitting. I was looking for other work and then it just kind of, I get thrown right back into the flow of things. Um, and moments like that are way more, like it softens the blow when you have a savings account, right? Like absolutely. More importantly, like over anything else, it's important that you build for yourself. And that's pretty much like the overall key of it all, um, maturing within adult work. That's what it's taught me. And if I could go back and like <laughs> tell myself three years ago, hey, you know, make sure you do X, Y, and Z and don't get caught up in things, I most certainly would. Those are kind of the ways that I have matured within adult work and um it's been a bumpy ride <laughs> anyways if you have any questions comments concerns or video requests feel free to email me my email is nadiaexotica at gmail.com follow all my links at nadiaexotica.com and also don't forget to read my blog which is nadiascuriotrove.com slash blog and until the next video 
you will be hearing from me very soon.